What's up everyone? Biz Math here once again and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I recently got a contract signed actually a few hours ago and the different follow-ups that happened and the different negotiations that happened in between. Before we go on, be sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on post notification bell and comment down below. Now I just want you all to know that I am growing in this business just like you all and I'm just documenting my journey so I'm not making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in wholesale real estate um, but I do intend on being successful in this field in this field of real estate just like you all uh, and just to see my journey from now until then. So I recently got a contract signed and I got it signed just a few hours ago. I got it from a Facebook lead. So I, I do different Facebook ads and someone contacted me so probably an hour out from where I live and where I usually target but that's fine and um, it's in a more rural place around the lake a lot of trees a lot of people have vacation houses there you know like cabin style and whatnot or like lakefront stuff it's a very small and very niche specific buyer for that so finding a buyer will be difficult so they filled out their information probably over a month ago and that's when I called them back and it was a guy um, his wife actually passed away probably a year or two ago and he was just looking to move back actually with his mom just to fill uh, spend more time with her and, and the family whatnot he has a son and they built that house him and his wife together a really good story and he just wanted to be gone with it it's actually in really good condition um, the property is a two bed two bath property nice size house good quality hardwood floors there's a little bit leaking in the basement, but that's about it. So his main motivation is that he's wanting to um, move back and just be done with the house, pay off his mortgage. And all that he was asking for the property was to pay off his mortgage. So looking online and doing different comps of the property, for example, Zillow says it's valued at 216, right? And I know Zillow can be off a little bit. The county says it's 178 and that can be off a little bit, but actually doing the comps, I think this property can sell for probably 235, 240, right? And it's in good condition, right? You don't have to do nothing. You just have to clean up. If you want to update the kitchen, you can do that also. So basically, he wanted to just to pay it off and he was talking to me and saying 135. Um, and he was thinking that was his principal payoff amount, but he wasn't entirely sure. So just going back and forth um, with him and talking with him, you know, over several weeks, um, we finally agreed for an appointment. Now it was an hour and 10 minutes out. I didn't want to drive there. And so I think I gotta have a little bit of capital to invest in this business that I actually hired a photographer off of Craigslist. I just said, hey, if you just have a smartphone, that would do. Can you go to this property at this time and take photos? The first person that I contacted bailed on me, just totally ghost. And you guys saw in my other video, I had that happen um, before where I scheduled an appointment. The photographer went there, but the owner actually just ghosted me. <laughs> but whatever. So basically this time, um, we, had, we got the photographer the second time. He, he was there on time. He took decent photos. I think it was an older guy, so some of the photos are a little blurry, but I'm still gonna use it, right? And yeah, and so I called him and said, hey, okay, we saw the photos, we saw that there was a little bit of leaking in the basement. Um, would you consider an offer at 120? He said, okay, let me think about it. Let me get the exact amount of payoff and I'll let you know. And I said, hey, okay, that's totally fine, you know, because I, you know, I don't want you to have to come to closing with to pay anything, you know, if 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 it's close to that amount, you know, we can match it. And so basically the next day he called me actually today and said, hey, it's only like 123 something. So I was like, okay, let's just sign for 124. Does that sound good? He's like, good. So I sent him my one page contract. He looked over it. He signed it today. I emailed it to my title, to the title company, and we'll see from there. And hopefully I get a buyer. Um, I said 45 days for this one because this is a more selective area and if push comes to shove I may have to JV with a bigger wholesaler around the area um, and so Yeah, and so basically that's how I got my contract signed So the next step is just to make sure the titles clean which I think it is and then just to market go full marketing on, on this property for the next two weeks if I don't find anybody then I will go to another big wholesaler to 
find a buyer for me because I'm, I'm I'm just beginning like I have to understand to network with people and you know it's good for future deals and just you never know what's going to come out of it with networking with another wholesaler who's bigger and more experienced than you. Yeah, I'm just going to document this process, let you all know the different steps, how my marketing to, to buyers, you know, I'm, I'm going to be cold calling different um, buyers that I saw um, bought houses within the past two or three years for cash 100% down. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions.